Let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to make sure the necessary software is installed before we go any further, which is yarn and Node.js. I'm going to run yarn-v and that is installed correctly and the same thing with Node.js. The version doesn't really matter too much as long as you have both of these installed, you're ready to start developing. The next thing I'm going to do is create a new project by running yarn init-y and all that's going to do is create a new package.json file with some very basic information about my project. The next thing I'm going to do is install the one and only dependency for this entire course and that is the development and uh, development environment called Vite. I'm going to explain that in a little bit, but first we're just going to run yarn add Vite to install it. And while that installs, we're going to explain that Vite is a very simple development environment that among other things lets us use ES modules from Node.js and it's also going to let us have a hot reload. So every time we save our file, it's going to automatically update in the browser, which is very useful, especially when you're developing UIs such as with Vue. If we do an ls now, you'll see we have a node modules directory and inside of that we have a whole, a whole bunch of modules, including Vue itself, so we don't have to install that. If I do an ls on node modules view slash dist, we can see quite a number of different Vue builds here. And that's because Vue is able to be used in many different environments, including a node.js environment on the server, purely in the browser, or using an ES modules environment, which is what we're going to be doing here. Because we're using an ES modules environment, which is what Vite is, we're going to need to use the Vue ESM browser.js build. So let's just keep that in mind as we start developing. The next thing I'm going to do is create two new files, index.html and index.js. And now I'm going to head into my index.html file and we're going to write our first Vue application. The first thing I'm going to do is create a new HTML template. I'm just going to give this a quick title of Vue.js. And the next thing we're going to do is create a div with an ID of app. And this is where our Vue application is going to be mounted. The final thing we need to do is create a new script tag and give it a type of module. I will explain this a little bit down the track, but for now, just go ahead and create type module. And this is going to let us use some modules from Node.js, including Vue. The next thing we need to do is go ahead and import some things from Vue. And we're going to use that ES module build I talked about earlier by saying Vue ESM browser.js. And that comes from Vue slash dist. We're going to talk about modules a little bit further in the course. Anyway, the first thing we'd like to import here is create app and that's going to let us create a new Vue.js application. Finally, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to create a new variable called app and assign it to create app. I'm going to pass in an empty object for now because we don't want to do anything yet. And then I'm just going to mount that one on the div I created earlier. And if we save this one off, create a new terminal and we're in the same directory, I'm just going to run yarn vite and that's going to set up our development environment. As you can see, mine's on localhost 3001. Uh, that's a little bit strange. It's normally on localhost 3000. And I think the reason is I have it open in another terminal already. So what I'm going to do is kill this one and use my original one, which is on localhost 3000, head over to the browser and refresh the page. We currently can't see anything. That's because our view application hasn't got any markup yet. So let's go ahead and put some in there. For now, I'm just going to say hello to see if everything's working. And if I save this off, you can see it's actually going to reload automatically. That's what I was talking about with the hot reload and Vite earlier. Now that this is working, you can see everything is working correctly. As long as you didn't make any mistakes, you should be seeing the same thing in your browser. Before we move on, we're going to do something a little bit more interesting than rendering uh, the word hello. What we're going to do is create a new data function. And this is where all our data is going to live. This has to return an object and we can put whatever we like inside of here. I'm going to put a message called world. Now that we have this, what we can do with Vue is anything inside of data is going to be made available in the template automatically. So I'm just going to come up here and use the curly brace interpolation syntax to interpolate my message. And if we go ahead and save this one off and you did everything correctly, you should be now seeing hello world in the browser. We will talk a little bit more about what this data function really means, but for now, as long as you remember data has to return an object and anything inside of that object is available on the template, you're going to be fine. We're not just limited to strings here, we can also return something like a person, which is an object. And let's say we give him a name of Lachlan, which is my name, and my age, which is 29. We can jump up here and instead of using message, we're going to interpolate that person variable. And if we save this off, we can see that is now going to be rendered in the template. Everything is working as expected now. In the next uh, step, we're going to see how we can move this template to be inside of our view application so we can keep everything in the same place.